do it with the home team, man. Hey, what's happening, man? Your number one certified goon flies to be exact. Hey, man, it's a beautiful situation to be a part of something that means something to the hip-hop community, homie. Hey, 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 Go to bed, sleep. That's what you love to do, Edwards. You're really so stable. I heard that because I'm standing right in front of you. I know. You do know the last time you went out, your dad caught you. He promised you were going to stop. Yes, now is the time to stop. Ella, uh, you took my word for that. Come on, Ella, you of all people should know that. I can't survive a Friday without partying, clubbing. How would I survive if I don't do that? I can't. I have to party. Besides, promises are made to be broken. You know you'll be getting me into trouble, right? Then save yourself. As for me, I have my way around these things. Besides, all my father do, if not shout, scream, rant, talk about how he wants to disown me. What else will he do? Nothing. Just that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, be nice. Tell me. <laughs> how do I look? Come on, say it. Say it. We know you look good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But I, I just wish you'll be getting the attention of responsible men in the club. But instead, mm -hmm. you'll be a fist for the wrong ones. And who says there are no responsible men in the club? Who said that? Suit yourself. But just so you know, eh? I'll be covering up for you this time. It's reflex, honey. Mm. You find yourself taking the bullets from me. You always do. It happens. Oh, you so wish. <laughs> Look, Ella, I have to go now. You don't have an idea of what you are missing. The dance, mm. the booze, the cute boys. I forgot to mention that. Oh my God. And me on the dance floor. Wiggling it like this. Uh, uh, uh. And that is when your name will be the first one who's going to hear all this. I'm sorry. I'll make heaven before you. Just before you get there. Off I go to go hide. Metal. <laughs> hey, no. Don't you talk. Kidding. Come on now, not again. <laughs> just, just look at these comments. What's the noise all about? Well, if you know who it is, you'll be asking to see it. So this fool is bent on destroying my name and all that I stand for. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do. You just keep going in circles. Honey, you've done everything you can, everything possible. I wonder when she's going to start acting at age. To leave her car behind so I don't smell a rat, right? No, sir, I'll never give her such advice. I warned her against leaving, sir. Why should I believe you? You are supposed to know her every move. You are her assistant. Why didn't you alert me of her plans immediately found out? I'm sorry, sir. 
Your apologies will not restore my honor and respect if I lose it. Why would a daughter take joy in tarnishing her father's image and you become part of it? No, sir. I will never do that. I am not in support of it, sir. I'm sorry, sir. You should have told me immediately you found out. Hell, I am greatly disappointed in you. I'm sorry, sir. You better to tell her to come home at once, otherwise I'll do something I will regret. I'm sorry, sir. I thought I could rely on you. Don't provoke me. I'm sorry, sir. I don't have an answer to that. What were you expecting? That he wouldn't go to your room? That you'd be in my room be personating me? I told you I wasn't going to cover up for you next time. You thought I was joking. Oh, you put me in difficult position all the time. And beside of what use is it? When your video from last night is already trending on Instagram. Oh my God, oh my God. Ella, was I looking like really, really bad? Because I was drunk. I remember being so drunk. Are the pictures bad? Like really, really bad? Talk now. How angry is my dad? Is he like angry, bed angry, or just angry? Why don't you go and find out yourself? He's impatiently waiting for you. Ella, come on now. You know I can't face him alone now. Not like this. You need to come with me, please. Eh? Uh, no. I'm not ready for transfer of aggression. You know how your father can be when he's angry. Besides, he's already angry with me that I didn't report you. Ah, come on now, Ella. You have to come with me now. You know you always know what to say, especially with that glasses on. Please now. You want the glasses? No. Okay. But Ella, come on now. I need you to help me in this one, please. I can't face my dad alone. Nope. Please. Nope, nope. Not working. Okay. Original human hair. 100%. Not working. Nope. Bone streets. 24 inches now, Ella. Up it. Huh? How many grams? 400 grams. 500 grams. Fine, deal. You know, I walked through fire for that one. <gasps> but this should be the last time you put me in this position again. I'll try. Now, let's put on a sorry face for your father. Okay. Okay. Wow. Um. Okay. <laughs> Ella, what's funny? What are you doing? You said I should put on a sorry face. Mm, That's what mm, I'm doing. Oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> now, let's go. Okay. Go first. But don't forget my bone stretch. No problem. I can add colors if you want. Highlights. So, all right. Let's go. I demand to know where you passed the night. Now. I, I, um, I. You went home with one of the random guys at the club again? No, Dad, I did not. <laughs> How dare you lie to my face? I have tolerated your excesses enough. I'm tired of your immoral lifestyle. If I didn't ask to become the daughter of a politician, did I? I will slap you a second time if the first slap did not help to reset your brain correctly. You will ruin my chances of contesting in the coming elections if you don't stop this irresponsible actor appearing on the blocks for the wrong reasons. Sorry. No! It's not enough! This time. One thousand sorries and she does the worst since the next day. Perhaps 
I will marry you off to enable me to focus on these elections. Honey. He's joking, right? How am I supposed to know? I applaud your ability to be this calm after your father's threats. Ha! You yeah, don't mind though. <sighs> I think he was just saying that because he was angry. He didn't mean it. Would you rather wait to find out? <laughs> I don't think so. Your father sounded 100% serious about getting you married. And you're not even bothered. Am I supposed to be bothered? Mm, maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Whatever. What would he do? Marry me off? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and I would suggest you come up with a man before he gets you just anybody you don't approve of. I can you hear yourself, Ella? Like, I should get myself a man. But I've not even enjoyed life. Like, I've not even started. The enjoyment is just starting. Mm. Like, I have groups lined out, parties. Like, correct stuff. I parties, wonder what things. you do every Friday in my I heard clubs. you loud and clear. I know you did. Elephant ears. Let's see. I suggest you come up with a man. He's not joking. Ella, it's not that serious. He was just angry. He says things when he's angry, and that's one of it. Come off it, please. Look, I'm hung over. I have so much champagne in my system. I need to sleep. So what's our schedule for the week like? Um, not much. But we have a meeting with Flora Holmes on Wednesday. Okay. I hope they give us a contract because it's actually for their own good. They need our touch in the tears of their beauty. <laughs> yes, ma'am. We're the best in town. You know that. Right. So they need us this time around. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Dad. Jesse, your dad is still angry with you. But I said I'm sorry. I don't know what else he wants me to do. I think you should change, at least for your dad. Ella, you're sounding like I do these things on purpose. It's the media that loves to paint this very bad picture of me, putting out information, ridiculous ones at that. Mm. Maybe if you stop giving them this information, they won't have anything to put out. Ella, life is boring without clubbing. Come on, you need to spice it up. That's what makes life fun. I do all those things because I want to have fun, nothing else. Mm. Oh, I told you. I told you my father was angry. Can't you see he hasn't said anything about the marriage thing? Well, I think you're right. I think he said that out of anger. He seems to have forgotten about it. My problem, mm. my problem right now is that black wife of his, gold digger. Jessica. I don't think you should be saying that about your stepmom. Huh? Who's, who's my stepmom? That that girl. She's barely two or three years older than I am. How can she be my stepmom? Look, we all know she married my father for his money. So, are you saying she's not fit to be your dad's wife? Yes, she is not fit to be my dad's wife. Jesse, they've been married for over two years. And I'm very sure she loves him. Okay, Ella, you know what? I am tired of this conversation with you. The bitter pill is always hard to swallow. I've been wondering where I can get someone trustworthy for the contract. A young man who can handle Jessica. Oh. 
I think I could get still one. Good. <laughs> uh -oh. I don't know, sir. I think he's overheating or something, sir. I called a mechanic immediately. Get me a ride. I haven't got patience for this. Um, okay, sure. Um, yeah. <sighs> oh, found one. It's a minute away, so you should be here anytime soon. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. So grab your stuff. Let's go. Um, why don't I stay with the car? Well, the driver's here. I know, but besides, when I follow you for all those your meetings, I get really bored. Hmm? So let me just stay with the car. Where the mechanic is done, they will come get you. All okay. right. All right. That's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good day, sir. Yes. Good day. Yes, sir. I'll be needing your services all day. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, we can actually do it offline, too, if you, if you Great, necessary. Then? Yes, sir. Why is your car's air conditioning not functioning? Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. It's uh, primarily because uh, I haven't uh, refueled. I'm out of gas, sir. Oh, that's not good. Uh, you can't be carrying me around uh, in such heat. You have to fix it uh, immediately. You yeah. have to drive me around. Um, yeah, I will I'll do that sir, as soon as don't I... Don't worry, don't worry. I'll pay for it. Oh, no, 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 sir, please, you don't have to. I I can actually do that. I, 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 I will refill as soon as I drop you off, sir. I will, I will do that before I come to pick you. You speak so well and you seem learned. Yes, sir. Why do you choose to drive a taxi? Oh, um, it, it's, it's because, of course, it's good business and, um, you know, the white collar job doesn't pay so much, sir. You sound like someone who knows what he wants. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. All right. You will have a drink with me after this meeting. I may have a business proposal for you. Oh. Oh. Okay, sir. I will be looking forward to it, sir. All right. Absolutely, sir. We go. David. Sir. I know you must be wondering why I want to make a business deal with a total stranger. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's, that's very correct, sir. I had a hunch I could trust you. You look responsible. I hope I'm not wrong, though. Uh, no, I am. I'm very honored, sir. Um, but I, I'm, I'm curious, sir. Why, why? All right. Pick me up at the usual place. Thank you. I want you to propose to my daughter. A fake proposal. I want you to fake an open proposal, an engagement to my daughter. Why? Why, sir? My daughter has been of a very bad behavior. And that's no good for my political ambition. I need someone to keep her in check. Pretending to be her fiance. Oh, so you're a politician? Yes. I'm Douglas Okoye. I noticed you didn't know why we're in the car, and I wonder why. I oh, know, I. I'm very sorry, sir. I don't actually pay attention to politics, so I... 
I, I'm sorry, I didn't know you, you were the one. I apologize. So, are you up for this deal? I want to let you know I'll pay you handsomely. I want to give the media something positive to talk about my daughter, about Okoyes. Yeah. Sir, so, um, how, how long is this uh, deal for? Till after the elections. And that's in um, 11 months' time. I'll give you three days to think this through thoroughly. And I want to assure you, there's no pressure to this deal. I'll be glad if you accept my offer. My car is here. That's my card. This will take care of the bill for your taxi. I respect your call. Uh, uh. David, enjoy your day. Thank Thank you. A taxi driver? A responsible taxi driver. So, wait, let me get this. So, the word responsible in the sentence is somehow supposed to make it sound better. I told you to let me help you. Instead, you go pick a taxi driver you don't even know from Adam. He's a taxi driver. So, what's wrong with that? He looks responsible and I think I can trust him with a job. <laughs> I can only imagine Jessica's reaction when she finds out that her dad is trying to set her up with a taxi driver. She would flip. It's a make-believe. So she has no choice. I just hope the young man agrees to this. <laughs> I don't even know why we're having this conversation because he doesn't even stand a chance. Because of his profession? What's wrong with that? That's not even my worry. The young man, I'm praying for him to accept the offer. And that's it. Okay, fine. So let him go. I will get you somebody better. Okay. If he does not call in three days, then you will get your own present. For Jessica's sake, I hope he doesn't call in three days. It's my call, not hers. Okay. So why are you staring at me like that? It's Do I normal. Look familiar to you? Not at all. Well, it's only normal for one to be surprised seeing a stranger in front of the house. Well, the, the name is David. I'm here to see Chief Douglas. He's expecting me. Your bill, your short leave is expecting you. You know, I don't charge for staring, though, because I'm a masterpiece. Shouldn't I be the judge of that? <laughs> no, please, no. It's not arguable, ma'am. So feel free to stare away. Now you're the one staring. How would you know that you had to have me staring at me? Is this how you flirt with girls in their own homes? <laughs> flirt? Nah, I'm not flirting with you. Not even close.
My apologies for the delay. Sit down, David. Sir. Thank you. Ah, oh, welcome to my home. Thank you, sir. I was glad when you called. <laughs> yes, to accept the contract. How much do you want for it? Uh, um, sir, I, I think we should actually leave money out of it. When I'm sure of what I'm getting into, then yes, we can discuss money. Very well then. Jessica? Jessica? Dad? Come there. Yes, Dad. Please sit. This is David. You earlier met him. David, that's my daughter Jessica I told you about. Dad, why the introductions? What's going on? David is to propose to you publicly. What? To act as your fiance until after the elections. Dad, you're joking, right? I mean every word I speak. If I do not do anything about your lifestyle, you ruin my chances of winning the elections. So, you, you want me to fake to be in an open relationship with some stranger because of your choices? At least that will give the media something positive to write about the careers. You and David will live together and act as if you will get married. What, li live, live together? together? Yes. Yes. How do you intend to keep her in check? Dad, I, ca I can't suddenly start living with a total stranger. Some, some guy I know nothing about because of your choices. Well, you follow men home you don't know from the clubs. That's not true. And I love to party and club, but I don't sleep around. Tell that to the media who have dozens of narratives on you. I don't care what the media has to say about me, but there's no way on earth I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing to this, this, this thing. Then, consider yourself disowned. You will cooperate with me on this deal. Or consider yourself out of this house. You will also vacate your office. I mean, I'm, I'm tired of your waywardness. I'm going to give both of you one of my apartments. And after the elections, you can publicly call off your engagement and go your separate ways. Look, Dad, if this thing is ever going to happen, I have to make my own rules. Anyhow you want it, but as long as it does not affect my plans. David? Sir. The media must not know this is fake. To that end, you will sign an agreement of secrecy. Deal. Good. Man, you shouldn't have accepted this offer. You think you can cope living with that girl? She's a case. Oh, geez, I mean, I didn't think it was this serious. Well, now that you know, uh, turn it down. I can't turn it down. Actually, you know what? I think this is an adventure I'd like to embark on. Come to think of it, have you thought about how your parents are going to feel about this? You're trying to protect another man's reputation and tarnishing your own. Forget about my parents, man. I can handle my parents myself. After all, man, look, I, I keep my identity from them, from Jessica and her father. They think my name is David. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you think the public won't find out this? Well, yes, it's true. You, you left the country since after our secondary school days. But people will find out. Dude, I have not been involved in any controversies at all. So how will they find out? Not even on social media, nothing. 
See, man, people have a way of digging things out, especially when it concerns Jessica Okoye. Hmm. Okay, so what's the worst that can happen? Well, I hope you enjoy this, but I have a feeling this is not going to end well. So that's how you're going to leave me here, Abby. You drop my car now. At least a boyfriend to uh, Jessica Okoye cannot be a taxi driver. You know now. Please, please. I don't want that to disturb my hustle. I will still do my hustle. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this. So. It's a cruise now, but don't come back later with, with regrets at all. I will not. Jesse, you see, I knew your father was serious. I don't know you. But I, I can't believe he'll go this far. <sighs> Anyways, it's not that bad. This whole thing would have been worse if it was real. You see, to come to an end after the election, all you have to do is act. After the elections, is a very long time to spend with a total stranger in pretense. Don't worry. I don't think he's a serial killer. I'm sure your dad did a background check on him. He wouldn't put your life at risk. <sighs> so tell me, when are you guys moving into the apartment? In a few days. Don't worry, chill. I know you are adapt. But tell me, is he handsome? What was that? Uh -huh. Last time to... Notice if he's handsome or not. Who cares? Why are you vexing? Look at me The only thing I'm worried about now is I don't even know him. Like, I don't know anything about him. Only his name. Huh? So, some... your dad didn't tell you? Tell me what? He's a taxi driver. What? Taxi? Taxi, taxi driver? driver? Oh. He didn't know, did you? But let it be on the record that I advised him strongly against it. Hmm? Um, and who brought you into this conversation? Jessica! What? Look, I'm going to say this even though I know you might not believe me. I actually do care about you. And I don't know what I did to you to make you hate me so much. But hey, my bad. I'm the one that brought myself into this conversation. So I'm going to respect myself like the one and only Chief Okoye's wife that I am. Perfect. Jessica. What? That's not fair. Oh, please. We invited her in the first place. But wait to Ella. My father actually brought home a taxi driver for me. Me, Jessica Okoye. Can a father be? Huh? I'm actually surprised. But then the good thing is that it's not real. Ah, ah please, 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 relax. Always saying the wrong things. Ah, ah. Let's not go into that now. Oh, please. I'm not your father, he's inside. That's so Hi, son. How are you faring? Aren't you ready to give up the bet with your father? No. I won't let him win. I'm still up for the bet. <laughs> you know, I did not agree to this in the first place. But you and your father make joke out of everything. All right. Ensure you find a wife in the process because you are not getting younger. Mom, please don't start. I've said my piece. 
return home without getting a wife from this bed and wash me. I will get to one myself. <laughs> he will not survive the bed. <laughs> uh, one more month and he will come running home. He thinks it's easy to be a man. <laughs> you should have made this bet with him. I'm losing it. I miss my son. He's a man. Let him experience real life and let's see if he survives it. I've said my own. Wow, this is a very nice place you have here. Wow. I think I like it here. Of course you would. It's good. It's definitely better than any hole you crawl out from, driver. Here. What's this? My rules. You abide by it. No body contacts when we're alone, except around people. No sexual harassment or assault of any kind. We must respect each other's privacy and boundaries. There is no need for commitment or fidelity as this is fake. So we can both bring in our partners. No. You can't bring in anyone into this house. You owe me fidelity. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You owe no, me. I don't. Oh, yes, you do. You owe me fidelity. And that's the reason why I'm here, to actually keep you in check. We're both single. Okay, so I mean, you owe me fidelity. That's, that's your problem, okay? I don't care. And look, let me tell you, you don't tell me what to do. Get my box. Yes, babe. Eh, fine then. Mm. But you know, people are just so gullible. Do you know I saw a lady in the crowd crying? <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> I'm sure she was wishing she was the one being proposed to. <laughs> she's, I'm sure she's asking God, when will it be my time? Oh my God. I just can't <laughs> deal with people. Gosh. Ah, <sighs> but we do. What have you agreed to act also? Hey. <laughs> do you know for a moment, I forgot this was fake. <laughs> But finally, eh? the media has something to talk about ah, now. This is the kind of news they like to feast on. Like you feed it to them, they go all the way out. Oh my God. Mm. This is what they like, exactly. Honestly. Bella, where did you get this? It's really cute. Mm. Really, really cute. I know, right? I make great choices. <laughs> oh. But thank God it's cute. That's the reason why I'm wearing this. Because it's cute. Uh -huh. And it's blind. Uh -huh. It's cute. <laughs> Really nice, I like. What? What? Ah. 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 What's this nonsense? Has this boy gone nuts? <coughs> ah. what, what is the matter? What is see, the see the nonsense your son has dragged me into. See, what? How can this boy do this? Of all the girls, our son chose to propose to her. He's just bent on making a mess of the name and reputation of this family. And I won't let him. Please, calm down. Calm down, please. Sometimes the media is fond of twisting stories. Mm. Yes, we should find out from Williams first. Oh, yes. so the media gave him the ring and they asked him to go on his knees. Is this not Williams I'm seeing here? Calm down. Say, call him and tell him to come back home immediately. He has to explain to me the meaning of this. Don't worry. Hi. What has this boy got to himself? Williams, you lied to me. I thought I could trust you. I'm sorry, sir. I should have disclosed my identity. How come I didn't even see this? I mean, the information was there. Look, only I know. But looking at things now, does he affect anything? Does his identity ruin any part of the plan? If not for anything, I think it can work to your advantage. Hmm? Look at the bright side. People are going to say your daughter is getting married into a responsible family. You know how much she respects to Dabo's family. It doesn't change the fact that he tried to fool me. Making me believe he was a driver was the height of deception. Sir, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to deceive you, sir. Look, I had already hid my identity prior to, and I didn't feel there was a need to let you know because I didn't think anyone would recognize me. So why were you hiding your identity in the first place? So I, I had a bet with my father. I know your father and how much he values integrity. He will not hesitate to tell the media it's fake and will not have his son associated with my promiscuous daughter. Sir, I, I, I don't think that will be the case, sir. Look, I signed an oath of secrecy and I intend to hold onto my part of the bargain. And you will not tell your father about the deal? You will not tell your father it was all a camouflage? No, sir, I won't. If I didn't tell him, he'd believe is real. And I intend to finish what I started. I intend to hold on to my part of the bargain.
What's the meaning of all this nonsense trending on the social media? Oh, um, Dad, I, I was actually going to talk to you about it. To tell me what? How, how you intend to rubbish the family's name in the mud? What has come over you, Williams? I mean, this wasn't part of the bet. I didn't ask you to go ruin the family's dignity. Son, it's a prank, right? The proposal videos all over the internet. Is it a skit or something? No, mom, it's real. Of all the girls you could choose from, you chose Jessica Okoye, a girl known for her wayward lifestyle. No, it will not work. Well, mom, I, mom, I already proposed to her. What? Without, without talking to your family? Without seeking the approval? No. You must be out of your mind. <laughs> Look, let me tell you. You must call off that engagement and debunk that news. Uh, tell them it, it's a skit, a, a photo shoot, or whatever. Anything. But I don't want to wake up and see your name associated with that nonsense. Dad, 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 listen. That please, you know that I, I, I hold you in high esteem. But that I'm sorry. I, I can't do that. What has come over you, Williams? Who is talking to you? Because I know it's not my son talking. Uh, listen to me. It's either you call off that engagement and debunk that news, or you cease to be my son. Dad. Dad! Williams. You know how your father hates social media controversy or getting involved in any mess. Eh, uh, Williams. You have to debug that news. Mom, Mom, I, I, I can't. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't do that. You can't what? Williams, you can't what? Mom, mom, maybe later you'll understand. Williams! Williams! We are yet to start the relationship proper and you're already being dishonest. What's with your necessary lies? Look, listen, I don't want you to add to my frustration. I'm in this mess because of you. No, you are in this mess because you chose to. And don't you ever yell at me again. Look, I can't remember anybody forcing you into this. You should have just declined my father's offer. It's that simple. Listen, it's already hard, okay, dealing with the fact that my father just disowned me. Please don't add to my injury. You know, it's still... <laughs> it still baffles me. I mean, I wonder, I'm confused why you chose to pretend to be an Uber driver, a cab driver, really? Listen, I, was, I, was, I wasn't just pretending. Okay, my father and I, we had a bet. So how does it feel to be back home in the country after such a long time? Uh, Dad, I must say... Uh, Mixed feelings. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must tell you, it's really good to have you back home. Thank you, Dad. The company awaits its new CEO. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've not heard that your, your Frederick, your cousin, committed suicide. Hmm. Yes. I heard. Oh. Sad. Sad. But you know, I don't know, I don't know. Why, why? Why would he take his own life? Well, it's really very sad. You know, 
things became very difficult for them after their father passed on and um, they started struggling. Mm. It's obviously he couldn't adjust to a life of lack after being born with a silver spoon. I don't know, but I don't know, but that 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 doesn't just seem like something that would be enough for someone to commit suicide. <laughs> I'm sure you're saying that because you've really never tasted poverty. No one who has tasted wealth can adjust to a life of lack like that. No, it's hard. Mm. Oh, but uh, that I hear you though. But honestly, I'm I'm gonna say I disagree mm -hmm. in this part of what you're saying, because you know that um, a person can be wealthy and still lose some of that wealth due to misfortune. Mm -hmm. But you know, they can get back, bounce back. If they're hardworking, they have some patience and endurance. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, people are not that patient anymore, especially those who have tasted wealth. <laughs> Maybe you think uh, living the life of a poor man is it's fun. <laughs> it's not. Well, you really wouldn't understand. After all, you've always lived a privileged life. Well, Dad, do you you think that I would kill myself? I will not kill myself if I lose everything. I'm not. Hmm. Look, that even when, when, when poor people, look at them. They are hardworking and they're happy to work hard. You think poor people are happy? <laughs> okay. How about you taking a year off from your debit cards? No support from me or your mom. <laughs> I'm sure you will come running back home in a matter of months. <laughs> Seriously, sir, do you think that I would not be able to survive without any financial assistance from your mom for a year or more? Yes. Dad, with hard work, hmm? I can survive without any financial assistance from anyone. Did you get what I said? Frozen account? You leave this house with just the clothes on your back and your transportation. And if you survive for a year and you come back, you can ask me for anything. Wow. Interesting. I like the sound of that. They bet. <laughs> Let's go. If you fail, your position as CEO will be withheld for one year. Are you still in? I'm stealing. Let's do it. Seriously? You're serious? I'm very serious. 100% <laughs> serious. Okay. Okay. This is what we'll do. We'll allow you to rest for a week, you know, returning. And then, let's see what happens. But, if you get stuff out there, just don't kill yourself. Come back home. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> But I'm sure by the, by the time we're through with this bet, you'll discover some very interesting things about me. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Again, honestly, I just wanted to prove to him that I can survive without my father's wealth. At least for a year or more, without even running back for any financial assistance. Why would you agree to such a bet? Why would I want to taste poverty when I am born with a silver spoon? Look, it's, it's, it's not my fault I was born into wealth. Come on. Oh, God. Wait, so I see. So that's the reason why you decided to leave with a total stranger, huh? Because, of course, you were afraid that if you refused, your father would disown you because you can't survive on your own. Well, look. Me, I can survive without my father's wealth. And hence the reason why I decided to be a taxi driver. Ew. Yeah, ew, all you want, but I remit a certain percentage of my earnings to my friend. It's just almost as if I work for him. I can't look, I will never, ever agree to such a thing. No. 
Look, I, I can't deal with poverty. I will not survive. Look, I'm not used to it. I can't. I can't deal. Oh my, ew. I can't even think about it. But wait, why did your father disown you? Because of the proposal? Yes. He wants me to debunk it. But that's not a hard thing to do. Just come out and say it's fake. Nah. I can't do that. Look, I already gave your father my word. And I think you should consider your father too. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. You'd rather your father disown you than you going against your word with mine? <laughs> what kind of a person are you? Man, you know, I actually, I shouldn't have hid my identity from Chief. What? Is that all you're concerned about? I thought you should be more worried about your father's reputation here. Well, look, I'm worried about that too, okay? I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, what if it was real with the girl and we ended up just falling in love? He will disown me for that. Disown you? Man, I warned you. I told you that girl doesn't have a good name. I mean, what you made the public believe was, uh, by proposing to her, is that your family condescends so low to marry from that family. Look, the public was, they were too quick to judge anyway, so. <sighs> Honestly, if you ask me, I warned you about this. I mean, guy, your father cannot disown you now. Remember you promised to, to help me secure a good job in your father's company? I mean, check him now. I'm not going to use your own spoil my own now. Calm down, calm down. <sighs> For you know, my dad was just angry. We'll get over it. Oh, so do you think he'll still be interested in the bet after this whole thing? Mm. Don't worry. I know my father who will work it out. <laughs> I believe you. You know, honestly, I can't wait to get a good job in your father's company. You get, it would have been better you don't even make this stupid bet, if you ask me. Yeah? So how about uh, Chief Douglas now? He'll be jumping for joy, you know, now that he has known your identity. Look, I'm starving and I don't have money for all this fast foods and stuff that we're doing, okay? If I continue like this, we're just going to go broke. I think we should be having home-cooked food going forward. And why are you singing it into my ears? You don't expect me to cook, do you? I don't cook. I don't know how to cook, okay? Can go to the market and help yourself. But you, you, you don't expect me now to go cook for myself now, do you? Of course. I'll order if I'm hungry. Wow, and you're a woman. You should be ashamed of yourself, you know. I'll pretend I did not hear that. Hmm. Okay, well, I hope you know that I can actually, you know, just call your father now. Any, any bad report. I'll just pick up my phone and call him. Are you threatening me? You won't do such. Ah, okay then. Watch me. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Hold up. You can order the food. I'll pay. No. Mm -mm. Home cooked food. I'm an African man and home cooked food is what we eat. But I just told you I don't know how to cook. I've never cooked in my life. Okay, I, I'll call Ella to come cook for you. Wait, 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 wait. Why, why would you go and be calling Ella to come and cook? Huh? She's your assistant. 
She drives you everywhere and now she's your cook. Is there anything you can do without her? Why are you making this thing difficult? She's coming to cook for you, not me. You're the one that's hungry. If I want to eat, I'll order food. I'm not here for her. You better go in there and fix me something to eat, otherwise I'm just going to call your father now and tell him that you're making this whole uh, uh, cohabitation thing very unbearable from you. I don't know how to cook, I just said that. Okay, fine, look, you asked for it, so whatever I cook, you take. I don't know how to cook. What do you want me? I don't even know how to turn this thing on. What do I do? How do I put on the fire? Oh, <sighs> yeah, the cook. Please if you fix me something there, please. I need to get on the road. Oh my myself. God. Should have just allowed me to call Ella. I don't know what to do. <sighs> I don't even know where this. What, 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 what do I do with this? I don't know. Just too difficult. Why don't you just let Ella do this? I, I don't even know what to do. How do I turn this on? It, it's not coming on. Why are you asking me? F figure it out. Oh, God. Yum and eggs? Please, 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 please. Don't get on my nerves even more. So, we, did, you, did you put salt on this thing in excess, just on purpose? Because I don't believe you're such a terrible cook. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to go do some shopping when I get back from work, when I make some money today. Because this yam and eggs is not what I'm craving. I'm actually craving Gary and a goosey soup. I'll be in the office tomorrow. I have some deals to finish up. Hi, Hi Jess. Jess. Welcome. Thank you. So how did you go? Hi, Williams. Ah, Ella, how are you? Mm, I'm good. Stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Babes, Williams cooked. Oh, no, she did. Wait. Jessica cooked. She did. Careful, it's... it's salty. <laughs> Ella, I asked, how did it go? Well, it went very well. But they said it should have been better if you had showed up yourself than sending your representative. Sometimes these media people wake up and cook up stories. This is Williams trying to win his bet. Who even told them that he was disowned by his father? But I did disown him. You and I know that you did not mean that. You are just being upset. How can you disown your only son? Well, I, I must admit that I'm very impressed with the determination to prove me wrong and even his hard work to survive on his own. 
but he disrespected me. I mean, Williams walked out of this house even when I threatened to disown him. I agree that what he did is wrong. But sometimes love make all these young people lose their mind. Our son is in love. Hmm. And of all people, he had to choose her. Jessica Okoye. That girl whose pictures and messy videos litter the internet. He didn't even choose a, a girl that is worthy. Maybe if you didn't make this bet, this wouldn't have been happening. Oh. I don't even know what he sees in that girl. I didn't even know that Williams has a girlfriend. It's only God knows how long he has been seeing her. Oh. He clearly hid it from us because he knows the kind of war he will be starting. I'm very sure Douglas is very happy that his daughter brought home a good catch. It will be good for his coming elections. You have to forgive your son. He said he has been calling you to plead with you. But you refuse picking his cause. Yes, because I'm angry with him. He's joking with my name and my reputation. And I will not tolerate that. <sighs> I wonder what he saw in that girl. But let's pray. He will come back to his senses. Mm. Welcome. Hey. How's your day? Ah, uh, what's good? You care for some? Ah. Uh. There you go. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I know you're a true African man that likes homemade food. <laughs> but I'm sure the worms in your tummy won't notice the difference. Hmm. 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 This tastes good, huh? I didn't know you had such a great sense of humor. How did you notice? When they are always angry and getting on my nerves. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So would you would you mind getting your husband to be a glass? Hmm? <laughs> because I need some juice too. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I just saved you from starving. I offered you meat pie. Now you want me to get you juice. Maybe if you add please. I might. Okay, please. Mm? Just because you pleaded, I'll get it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, mock me now, mock me, yeah? <laughs> You're back. Where are you going? It's Friday to the club. You're not going anywhere. How was that supposed to mean? Oh, what do you mean, what's that supposed to mean? I didn't speak French, did I? You're not going anywhere. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is this some kind of a joke or what? Huh? Look, my father did not employ you here to frustrate me or stop me from doing what I love to do, okay? Look, true. Well, maybe, yeah. But listen, I think you've actually forgotten the real reason why I'm here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, what are you now? My bouncer or what? Huh? Please, can I have the keys? Mm -mm. I'm actually here, you know, to save you from any more embarrassments you'll bring on your father. So you're not going anywhere. And why are you so loyal to him? Why? Shh, shh. I know why. Because you're so broke. Your father disowned you and now you need money. And my father offered you money, obviously. Broke ass. And I need to leave. I have a party and a club to go to, okay? I'm sure you think this is funny. It's not funny. Get me the keys. Okay. Please, 
I'm begging. I need to go out. I need to party. Please, driver. I want to have fun. Please, can I go? Can I have the keys? Please. I love you too! Go away, you idiots! My father made a mistake picking you for this contract and I hope he sees that soon. Oh wow. Now you 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 really didn't mean that now. Everything you said out there, right? Look, listen. I'm only trying to help you so you don't get into another scandal. I am not a child, Williams, and I'm not that careless. Oh really? Okay, so how do you explain all the videos and pictures of you on the blogs all over the internet? Look, everyone can believe whatever they want. I don't care. Oh, okay, well, are you sure about that? I said, just go away, go away. I wish I didn't agree to this in the first place. Yeah, like you had a choice. I regret everything now. Okay. Listen, we can do this on one condition. I'll let you go. Only if I come with you so I can watch everything that you do. After all, I'm your fiance. Go away, just go. Oh, uh, all right. Well, don't say that I didn't try. Don't say I didn't try. You're supposed to be heading to the office. What are you doing? Look, I am so, so angry. Like, literally angry. That guy is getting on my nerves. I feel like strangling him. Whoa! That's a lot. What did he do? Can you imagine he stopped me from going to the club yesterday? <laughs> he locked the door and seized the keys. That's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. William is really what you need in your life. <laughs> and what's that supposed to mean? Um, Jessica. Is a good influence on you. You cooked. Oh. You haven't done that in years. So because he threatened to report me to my father and made me cook, that makes him a good influence. Look, <laughs> I didn't do that thing willingly. Mm. Hello? Hmm. It starts from somewhere. Story. Very soon you start doing it willingly. Story me. Jessica, me. Look, you're as annoying as it is. Mm. Honestly. I know, right? Boy, why do I see the both of you falling in love before this contract? God ends? forbid. <laughs> That's that rude thing. His attitude sucks. God forbid. Mm. It will never, ever happen. Mm. Love exists only in the movies, mm. okay? Not in real life. Okay. Look, coming here was a waste of time, okay? Uh, let me not wait for you. Jesse, wait now. Jesse, please. Oh my God, Liam! Don't you wake me up. When I look in your angel eyes, all that I see reminds me of paradise. And you made me realize you have my heart, girl. You've got me hypnotized. They say we're not meant to be, but girl, I don't care. I don't intend to live without your love They try to take your heart from me But girl, they don't dare Cause when your heart whispers I hear it loud and clear Yeah You give me butterflies I look in your eyes 
Hey, how are you? Hope I didn't disturb your sleep. No, it's fine. What's the matter? Look, it's Jessica. I've been up since and now it's till three in the, in the morning. I haven't heard from her. What's happening now? Our phone is switched off. I've been trying to call her. Is she with you? Jessica isn't here. She left the office before me for a meeting. If she's here, her car would be in the compound. You don't know where she is, so where would she be then? I mean, do you have any idea? Because I'm worried. This guy's like that sometimes. <laughs> you should get used to it. Well, maybe maybe she, 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 she's seen someone. Nah. If she's dating anyone, I would know. It's just how she is. Try to get some sleep, okay? Good night. Where are you coming from? I owe you no explanations. Oh, really? Okay. But I guess you leave me no option but to actually pick up my phone right now and dial your father's number and tell him how much I can't really put up with your bad attitude. You will do no such thing. Look, you can't keep threatening me at the slightest opportunity you get. <laughs> oh, then watch me. Okay, okay, okay. I spent the night at my friend's place. Ah, my friend. Must be friend with benefits then. Look, no matter how horny you are, when I call you, you pick up your phone and answer the call. Otherwise, the next call you're going to get is from your father. I've been trying to call Williams and he's not picking my calls. I think he's really mad at me. What do I do? And what did you do? I just spent the night out, that's all. Jessica! What? What will it take for you to change? You know, it's not that difficult to live a decent life. But no, you would rather be wayward. Destroy your image, your father's image and everyone around you. What do people say when you walk past them? This is not why I called you here, okay? Besides, I'm trying to change. <laughs> Lies. I have never seen you make an effort. But you keep getting worse every day by going to club and getting drunk. I'm misbehaving. And are you any different from a call girl? And who are you to judge me? True friends don't look their friends in the eyes and judge them. They accept them because they are human who are prone to make mistakes. Oh, but they help them right their wrongs. Not by condemning you. Look, I'm tired of your bullshit. I'm not listening to it anymore. Je Where have you been? You got me worried. What you worried, why? Why, because we share an apartment. I need to know your whereabouts, at least. In case if you get missing, we'll know where to start looking for you. <laughs> My whereabouts? The same way that I knew your whereabouts when you came late? Huh? Who knows what you were doing? Maybe you slept in another man's house. I thought we've moved past that. Why are we going back there again? Why are you pained, though? Are you jealous? <laughs> jealous? Jealous of what? <laughs> Please, flatter yourself. FYI, I am not even moved. Not an inch. Not a chance. I'm just doing my job. Oh, 
am I so hurt by that? I don't even like her that much. Okay. Gosh. I do like her. But, but I'm not attracted to her. I don't love her. Look, mom, I've tried severally, okay? And look, I, 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 he doesn't even want to talk to me. He doesn't even want to... Like, he, your husband is very stubborn. Well, you can say that though. Come back home, son. Please. Wake up from this dream. Mom, um, but you know we had a bet. And I can't even come back because look, if I even come back, my position as CEO is at stake if I lose. Is that bet so important, Williams? How can you go into a marriage your parents do not approve of? Mom, please, we've been through this, okay? Severally. I'm tired of discussing this. I hope she's not using sham on you. Anyway, I want to see you. If you don't want to see me, then I will come and see you. You want to come here? We can meet around the place. Don't think I'm in support of that union of yours. I just want to see you, my son. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll text the address to you. Okay, I know you've been wanting to say something. Just go ahead and say it. Luke, I have nothing to say to you, man. It's your life, so you live your life however you want to live it. So you don't care about me at all? You're just doing... You're just protecting my father's reputation? Of course. That's what he paid me to do. So you don't care about anything I do? You don't care? Look, I don't care how you live your life, all right? The elections are around the corner. After the elections are over, I'm, I'm done. I'm just going to leave. I don't care what to do with your life. I don't know what you're saying. Dad, I don't want to continue living with Williams anymore. I want to come back home. We can still fake being in, really, in a relationship, but I don't have to live with him. And how does he keep you in check? I can't possibly leave my busy schedule to focus on you. Dad, I am not a kid. Okay, I promise I won't get into any form of trouble. No scandals this time, I promise. Just let me return home. Please. And how many times have you made that promise? Did you keep to it? Dad, I'm sorry. I know better now. Now tell me. Why don't you want to keep living with Williams? Did he harass you sexually? No, not at all. Far from that. He's just so annoying and... She's a bully. He's so authoritative. That's it. Those are the qualities needed to cope with someone like you. <sighs> Since he came into the picture, have you been on the blog? But dad. I'm done with this conversation. Go back to continue living with him until after the deal. Go and learn how to cohabit to William. Dad, please, please. Stop. You're just looking for an opportunity to continue your wayward lifestyle. Dad, 
You're just so quick to throw it on my face. You're the reason I am this way. You're the reason I live a wayward life. Who got so busy with his political ambition and business? You. You don't have time for me ever since mom died. Does that explain anything? It explains everything, dad. Everything. You don't show me love. You don't show me care. No fatherly advice. Nothing. You left me all to myself. I get lonely most of the times. I, I, I learned to love myself the best way I knew how to. You never cared. And to top it all, you, 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 you married another wife. You show her with all your love and attention. What about me? What about me, your daughter? Jesse. Jesse, I was waiting for you to come out. I know I hurt you, I'm sorry. And I hurt real deep, okay? Especially when it's coming from your friend. It hurts differently when your friend condemns you. No, 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 Jesse, don't say it that way. Besides, you're a nice person and everyone has their flaws, I'm sorry. And why is your mood this way? Do you can't say fight your dad? Williams! Ugh. I can't cope with that guy anymore. Like, he's getting on my nerves. What did he do this time? I can't stay in the house with a man that does not give a hoot about me. He doesn't care about what I do. Like, I don't exist. He can't be bothered. Um, why does he bother you? I thought you don't care about him. He told me right to my face that he doesn't care about me or whatever I do. So why are you worried? It's not like you care about him. Mm, please. Look, I can't wait for all of this madness to be over. I miss my life. I miss everything. I'm tired. It's so over. It's annoying. Man. Ella, please, I'm not in the mood. Jesse, seriously. How are you coping? Uh, very well, Mama. I'm... Mama, I apologize. I didn't mean to disrespect you and dad intentionally. You should be saying this to your dad. But he doesn't even want to talk to me. He doesn't even want to pick my calls. He doesn't even want to have any conversation with me. Don't worry. He will come around. Hmm? Just give him some time. You must really love this girl a lot. You know, sometimes love makes us do things without considering our actions. But if what you feel for this girl is love, then we can't stop you. Um, I really wish that I can make you and dad understand me. We do. We understand you. We know that you are in love. But just that, it's hard for us to accept who you have chosen. And it's for your own good. Anyway, I will keep on talking to your dad. I hope I will succeed in convincing him. Hmm? Oh, yes, my. <laughs> Thank you, mom. No problem. Tie your cheeks. Eh? Not you. Children of nowadays, love, love, love. Do you even look at the time that you're coming back home? Do you know how irresponsible it is coming back at this time of the night? When are you even going to stop slotting? I beg your pardon? Well, you heard me correctly. The elections are just a few months away. So how about you, you know, just wait till the elections are over. And then you can live your life the way you want to live it for all I care! How dare you talk to me like that? I'll take all of your rubbish, but don't you ever slut shame me! Jessica, how could you slap 
a man. That was so wrong. I shouldn't have slapped him. I shouldn't have. I should just should have controlled myself. But he provoked me. He provoked me into doing it. How dare he slut shame me? And what if he hit me back? What if he got upset and hit me back? I shouldn't have. Oh, I shouldn't have. That was so, so wrong. I shouldn't have. Jessica! Oh! Oh, what a day, what a day. Oh. Okay, I think I need to go apologize. That's that's it. I have to I have to go apologize. No. Mm -mm -mm. I'll give him time to cool off. I'll, I'll do that later. Oh god, oh god, 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 god. Was I thinking? What was I thinking? Oh God. Oh. Like Sorry, I came to apologize. I didn't mean to hit you. I just couldn't control my temper. Are you really sorry because you thought I was going to report it to your father or are you really genuinely sorry? I am really sorry, Williams. Look, I wasn't supposed to hit you. I could provoke you and you hit me. Williams, please, please. Look, I am I'm truly sorry, honestly. But I'm sorry for the things that I said to you I shouldn't have said. You've been smiling the whole time. What is the good news? It's Williams. We had a moment. We kissed. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. We kissed. You and Williams kissed. We almost made love, I swear, Ella. Like my heart was beating so fast, like it was connected to a current. I'm telling you. Ella, no, I wasn't tensed or nervous in any way. I know what I felt. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure it's not infatuation? Maybe you just want to get in bed with him. Mm -mm. And I know what I felt. Okay? It's not infatuation. Uh, oh my God. 
He stares, his tense tickles down my spine. Butterflies in my tummy. Ooh. He smiles. Oh my God. <laughs> Is in love. Just because you're in love with Williams. Yes. If this ah! is how it feels to be in love, I want to be in love. I love the feeling. I love it. Mm -hmm. oh I knew it. I knew the both of you were going to fall in love. I knew it. But the, the sad thing about it is I don't know if it feels the same way about me. You know, Even if it does, he might not want to have anything to do with a girl like me. With the stories of me out there in the media. Jesse. I think you should just change. And you know, you never can tell. People change when they are in love. <laughs> they say we're not meant to be, but girl, I don't care. I don't intend to leave without your smile. They try to take your heart from me, but girl, they don't dare. Cause when your heart whispers, I hear it loud and clear. So clear to know, to know, I wanna spend my life with you. And I know you feel the same way too Babe Guess what? Get dressed You and I were going clubbing tonight You're joking I'm not <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. You're not joking, are you? I'm not. Right. Go wear something. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Before I change my mind. Ah, please don't. I'm getting ready already. Okay. Well, meet me in my room when you're done. Okay, babe. Oh my god. <laughs> what is it? You don't want to be with a girl like me. Look, I understand that, but I'm not that girl the media paints me to be. I love to party, I love to have a good time, I love to go to the club, but I don't sleep around. Okay, so what about all the videos of you messing up in the clubs and the internet? Okay, see, I'm not perfect. I go to the club, I get drunk, and they take pictures of me, sell it to the press, and they just make ridiculous captions and headlines with the pictures, but that's not who I am. I do those things because I'm lonely. And the late nights that you keep? <sighs> okay, I've been with just, just few men, but... I don't have any man in my life. The only man in my life is my father. No man wants to take me seriously. I go to party and clubbing and all that just to make myself happy. I do it because I'm lonely. Look, Williams. I know you might not believe me, but I'm in love with you. Well, if, if you'll be mine, then no other hands must touch you. Will you be mine? Yes. Williams. 
I'm quite bothered, and that's why I'm calling. The contract has gone halfway, but you're yet to ask for your payment. And why is that? Nah, 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 nah. Listen, I know you need money more than anything else, considering how it has affected your relationship with your father. You need money all the same. Hmm. Okay. And how is my daughter? She has been avoiding my calls. <laughs> oh, never mind. I know how to get her and sit her down. And I know this must be the toughest of times for you because my daughter can be a headache. But just manage her. It will soon be over. Yes. All right. My wife sends her greetings. All right. Thank you. Give it up. Okay. Thank you. Ella, living right is easy if you have someone to guide you. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> what do you want me to tell you? What? You know what I mean, Jerry? You sound very happy. <laughs> Wait, so a girl cannot be happy in peace? No, tell me. Why can't I be happy? <laughs> oh my God, Ella, please don't even go there. Don't, don't, don't. Ella, let me call you back, okay? Bye. Hey, babe. Hey. Welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Look at you. It's Friday though. I know. You need to go for it. <laughs> Why should I? When I know I can spend the day with you. Huh. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Someone looks exhausted. <sighs> oh my god, I'm so exhausted. Driving is not as easy as it seems. <laughs> So how long more do you have before the bet with your father is over? Two months. Wow, we're almost there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so why don't you go freshen up? Mm -hmm. While I get ready to give you a oh, massage. Oh, man. Oh, that's that's so good. Good. Reminds me of paradise and you made me realize You have my heart, girl you got me hypnotized They say we're not meant to be but girl I don't care I don't intend to live without your love They try to take your heart from me but girl they don't dare Cause when your heart stuff at my father. He doesn't have time. He doesn't give me attention. I started living a wayward life because of him. After my mother died, my father channeled his energy and attention into his business and political ambition. 
He had no time to give me care, love or attention, nothing. So I decided to find a way to make myself happy. Started clubbing, partying, drinking. That was the only way I knew how to. Shh. It's okay. Hey, it's okay, it's fine. There's no need now to shed tears, okay? It's not the time. You do know that this is our first night making love. <laughs> 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 so, you have not told me anything about your stepmom, though. I don't like that woman. She stole my father from me. <sighs> and she is not my stepmother. Come on, Jessica. But she's nice. Uh, and she cares about you a lot. Oh, pretense. That woman doesn't give a hoot about me. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, but on the contrary, I know and I think mm, that she actually does care about you. But she cares about your dad a lot. Or don't you want your father to be happy? Who do we have here? Chip Dabo, the unshaken business model. And to what do I owe this friendliness? No, no, no. We've never, we've never been enemies. It's just that our paths have not really crossed much. Uh, but you've done so much in parting my son and I. So what else do you want? Don't say that way. Don't say that way. You see, uh, I didn't even know he was a son in the first place. Oh, on. Mr. Politician, tell me another story. I mean, you know my family name is very reputable. And you know what that could do for your forthcoming elections? <laughs> just believe me. I know you will find it difficult, but it's just the truth. Williams is a very good boy. Hmm. You are lucky to have such a decent, diligent boy for a son. I pray... I will have a son like him. Enjoy your day. <laughs> hmm. So there's something I've been willing to discuss with you. Okay. So, so I think that you should um, start something of your own, you know, rather than depend on your father for everything. Um, I mean, it's it's important that you do start something on your own, so that you don't need to actually depend on anyone. Yeah, I, I understand totally. But the thing is, I'm scared. I um. I don't know how I would cope or what would happen if I leave the company. No. Okay, you don't have to really leave the company or leave your position in the company, actually. But you can actually have your own thing alongside. Because really, if you had something going on by yourself, when your father threatened you with you know, freezing your accounts and stuff like that, you would not even be bothered. Because you, have, you have, because you have your own thing going on. But it's good I agreed. I found you. Fair enough. But then I still think that you should give it a thought. Okay? Give it a thought. I mean, consider studying something. For yourself. I think you're making a whole lot of sense. I will give it a thought and... Make a business proposal. Mm. Thanks for the advice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, man, this is a nice place. Thank you, man. Hey. How was your day? Welcome. That was good. Thank you. Thank you. And then, um, this is Ike. Ike is uh, a friend of mine, the one I told you about. Oh, mm -hmm. nice to meet you. My pleasure. <laughs> You're welcome. Please make yourself. Thank you. Food is almost ready. You were. Oh, thank you. So, you. so you cooked, huh? I thought you said you were going to be at the office. Well, I worked from home, but Ella is helping me do stuff in the office. Oh. Let me get you something cold to drink while we wait for food. I'll be right back. Thank you. Wow. Hey, man, she looks really homely. Of course, I told you that. She has changed. But do you think your parent will accept her? No, this is not the best time to have that conversation, please. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Babe, are you okay? What's wrong? I'm fine. Babe, I know you're not fine. Because I've lived with you long enough to know exactly when something is wrong. Talk to me now, what's going on? I'm fine, babe. I've just been thinking. Okay, very soon your parents will find out that the proposal isn't real. But now we are real, I don't want to be the cause of our separation. Babe, I think you need to worry less. Hmm? Look, let me tell you. They're my parents. I know exactly how to deal with them. So do you think I stand a chance? No. You don't stand a chance. We stand a chance. Okay. Look, I know that my dad and my mom, they, they, they all, they could be a hard note to crack, trust me. Uh, but I know how to crack them. Okay. <laughs> so relax. Yeah. If you just say so. Hey, Ella. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Welcome. I know. When do you intend to tell your father about this? They say we're not meant to be, but girl, yeah. I don't care. I don't intend to leave without your smile. <sighs> Dad. Yes. There's something I want to talk to you about. I'm all ears. Williams and I are in a real relationship now. We're dating. You two are perfect together. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Dad, I'm so sorry. You've done nothing wrong to me and all I did was just get on your nerves. It's okay. I'm sorry. I should be grateful that my father found a good woman in you. Sorry. <laughs> it's alright. Thank you. So, does that mean you get to call me stepmom now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, um, my lovely daughter. 
I want to apologize to you. I have not been a good father. I never meant to neglect you. Please find a place in your heart to forgive your father. Forgiving your dad. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is all I've always wanted. So I'm too too happy. We need to celebrate this. Yes, okay. yes, best sure. mom. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you found another family. Another family? Is there any such thing like another family? No one can take the place of your son in your life. I offered him money, but no, he would rather not cheat on the bet he made with his father. So you see how much value he places on you. Dad. I, um, I went through with the bet and today I had to work very hard. And I had to push myself. I had to drive taxi for for over a year. Arguing with passengers and fighting with passengers along the way. He was he was very difficult for me. But I pulled through that. Showing that I had the the spirit of determination and resilience. Dad, I'm so sorry. I, but honestly, I didn't mean to offend you. Come on, let's go. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Let's see. I'm going to see your guys. Show. <laughs> <laughs> and business opportunities too. Yeah, many. <laughs> 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 what a great stuff you do, man. Look forward to that. Sorry for keeping you waiting, mademoiselle. Apologies accepted, monsieur. You look good. Thank you so much. Already ordered something for both of us. Oh, did you? Oh, amazing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Looking um, dashing. Thanks, babe. 
gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you got my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. It feels good, you know, sitting here at this restaurant eating. It's a nice place. Yeah, it's beautiful. You know, the last time I was here, um, a man brought me here. Mm -hmm. And you know what the man said to me? He was actually sitting over there and I was sitting here. And the man said, I want you to propose to my daughter. <laughs> my dad? Yes. <laughs> Your wow. dad. Uh, okay, okay. Hmm. Well, Jessica, we have shared an apartment for a while now. And that has been one very amazing experience of my life. It really was... <laughs> We had our moments. Yeah. <laughs> moments that I always will remember. Moments that left a mark and will always be in my heart. So I would want to say that I would really love to experience more of those moments with you. <laughs> Jessica. Will you be my wife? <laughs> I Yes, 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 I will. I'll be your wife. Ah. Ah. Come here. I can't do it. Reminds me of paradise and you made me realize you have my heart girl you got me hypnotized they say we're not meant to be but girl I don't care I don't intend to live without your love they try to take your heart from me but girl they don't dare cause when your heart I hear it loud and clear 